Maria, you hit on something that I think uh, if, you, if we move towards settlement, we end up building relationships, too, the, in, in many other areas. And, and you mentioned that settling, in your testimony, uh, Native American water claims that it has had the added benefit of building positive relationships between states, tribes, and the federal government, which is essential in dealing with a shared resource. Uh, could you expand on this idea? Do you have examples of how these relationships have been built and what the results have been? Yes, Senator Udall. Um, I think another example um, I would um, offer is also from New Mexico uh, in terms of um, partnerships um, going forward. And that is the settlement of the Amit litigation um, north of, of, of Santa Fe. That was noted as one of the, uh, at least at one point in time, the longest running um, litigated case on the federal docket. So there was clearly decades and decades of acrimony and dispute among non-Indian users and Indian um, users within the basin over a very finite um, yet shared resource. And th these are communities that live together and that will need to and want to continue to live together going forward. So it is absolutely essential to figure out how to share this vital resource that is necessary for communities um, to figure out how to use together. The economies of, of tribes and local communities are not now intertwined. They are, they are, they are by, just by the, the very nature of um, the way growing populations have, have worked, they are um, they are intertwined, and, and so therefore developing, not just because it's a shared resource, but developing partnerships on the shared resource is, is absolutely essential. So after decades of fighting on the shared resource, is one of the solutions in Amit that the parties were able to come and agree upon was the construction of a regional water system that will um, serve both Indian and non-Indian users. And that regional water system will be um, operated by uh, four Pueblos and the County of Santa Fe. So it will be, in fact, a joint um, government to government, uh, community to community, um, uh, regional water system that will, again, serve both Indian and non Indian resources going forward. So it will support further uh, economic development because it will allow additional supplies to be brought into this region where fine, uh, water is very scarce. Um, and it will allow the Pueblos to develop the resources that were quantified um, to them after these many, many years of both litigation um, and settlement. So I, I think that is a, a prime example of um, a very intractable, difficult uh, problem given um, how scarce water is in this, uh, the region where the, the Amit settlement um, occur occurred and, and developing a strategy and tailoring it to solve the problem. And that, that could have not have been done through, through litigation or without the significant federal funding that was required to support that settlement. Thank you. I think, I think that is a, is a great example. John, John uh, Echohawk, it's my understanding that the negotiation team in the Indian Water Rights Office is the federal voice in water settlements being discussed today. Do you believe the Indian Rights water office and its team of negotiators are functioning effectively? Is there any need for improvement or changing or expanding the voice of the federal government? Well, I, I think they uh, um, uh, are doing a, a great job, Senator, with the, with the resources they have. Uh, you know, as, as we talked about, there's uh, ins and outs, ups and downs in all those negotiations, but I think uh, uh, they do the, the best job they can with the resources they have, uh, uh, but the, the federal resources available to them, both in terms of uh, being able to, to staff, you know, their own team and to uh, have the tribes who need to be there to involve the tribes in that process. And then once that settlement's reached, then to get the federal funding to do that, that's still the big challenge. We've come a long way, but uh, there's so much more to do and uh, resources are short but they do the best they can with what they have. 
Thank you. And I think, I think you've highlighted the fact that, that it's clear we need additional resources in a number of areas here in order to really bring justice to uh, Native American water rights claims. Thank you, uh, Chairman Akaka. Thank you very much. I've completed my questioning for this panel.